This video is going to be a little bit longer than uh, normal because we have a lot to talk about and I actually had to make a list so that I made sure to cover each of those things. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. I want to share with you the sober reminder that God has moved inside my heart this month when it comes to your generosity. Last month I announced that we were starting a matching campaign that one of our partners initiated for $4,000. There's been $14,987.81. That is an incredibly sober reminder to me that God is not just moving in my heart for the work that he's called me to, but also your heart. I'm so honored and blessed to be on the receiving end of your financial generosity, as well as your prayer. Many of you have been praying so hard for this transition process of me joining staff with Josh McDowell, and I'm so incredibly thankful for that. The things that you guys have been praying for is for the ministry partners that are coming onto the, uh, our team. You've been praying for um, Sarah's health, as there's been a few things going on with her that are, you know, at this point, not super serious, but we're still navigating them. And then you've also been praying for the discipleship that me and her are participating in and working towards with people in our life. We're helping lead the college ministry at our church, and we're able to disciple about 20 or so college students. We've been able to see them grow in amazing ways. And I have a story that a short story that I'm going to share with you here in just a moment. With the college ministry, last month I asked you to pray for a uh, conference that was a COVID friendly environment that we were hosting for young people in our area. We were calling it Converge, where we were talking about how God is bigger than the hurts and the struggles and the problems in our life. This was an awesome time. We had a couple dozen students show up and come and participate in the weekend. They were able to do a service project with a local organization that helps with medical missions overseas that was born out of our local church. They were able to hear messages from a variety of speakers, one of which is on staff with Josh McDowell. And he shared about the seven longings that all of us have deep in our hearts that God has created ultimately for him to fulfill and also for his family, our brothers and sisters in Christ to fulfill. A testimony from someone in this ministry, this college ministry that I want to share with you, someone that Sarah and I have been a part of discipling and this young lady is someone that Sarah has been meeting with weekly, taking her through a discipleship program. She was challenged a few weeks ago, um, along with the rest of the students, to reach out to someone in their sphere of influence by messaging them with their phone and asking them, how can I pray for you? And then the following weeks, I was gonna ask them how those conversations blossom. This last Sunday, I had the college students in front of me for the uh, Sunday school class, and I asked them how those conversations went. And well, this young lady, she brought a friend, and she pointed over at her friend and said, this is the person that I reached out to. And we were able to rejoice with her in this amazing moment as we have seen her grow so much over the year, working through some deeply rooted hurts and struggles in her life and seeing how that is being transformed into reaching out to other people and building relationships with new people because of the love of Jesus. Now, on another note, I wanna share with you a few more details about what my role is with Josh McDowell Ministry, but I wanna share three parts about my role with Josh McDowell Ministry that I'm super excited about. And these are all areas and these are uh, dynamics that the Lord has been equipping me with, equipping me in that I'm able to now put into practice in a new way through uh, my work with Josh McDowell. And these are the three areas. The first one is with helping to develop strategic partnerships. It's no question that the younger generation my age and down is facing a future that the church has not seen before in this same way. The problems at the root are the same, but the platform of these issues are vastly different. 
with our culture and developing strategic partnerships that are trusted and are of sound doctrine are hugely important in order to continue moving forward. The second part of my role is gonna be helping to equip Christian leaders with how to navigate a lot of these issues, the unprecedented levels of mental health issues, um, sexual and sexuality problems and issues in the lives of young people, as well as self-image issues, suicide rates, the list can go on. These are conversations that are incredibly difficult to navigate. Being able to equip Christian leaders, parents, pastors, and peers of young people is going to be a key element as the church continues forward in advancing the kingdom of our Father. And the third part of my role is going to be helping to think through some creative communications strategies as we work through a lot of projects that we have going on. Josh McDowell Ministry has a history of being very creative with getting the word out and creating these catalytic moments where people can encounter truth and realize that the resurrected Jesus is alive and he's living and he wants a relationship with you. These catalytic moments are strategic in many ways, but getting the word out can happen in a lot of different methods. The, the stage, the platform of this era is unique to this generation. This digital era is one where there's creative freedom to express and to communicate, and it's a beautiful time to be in ministry because with every new problem, there's new solutions right around the corner. Now, as we wrap up, I want you to be praying for me and Sarah as we go through November and continue through the year 2020. Sarah and I are praying for each of you, both systematically each week. I have time set aside where I'm praying for you, but also organically as you guys communicate back with me about stuff going on in your life. So let's continue to be in prayer for one another and to share each other's burdens. And always remember the work that Jesus is doing in your life. I love you guys. And I look forward to what God is going to do this month. Andy, you're on camera. You're on camera. You're on camera. You're on camera. Oh, you want to be on camera? You want to be on camera? Oh, oh, give them kisses. Tell the partners hello. Oh, okay. Thank you. Say thank you for helping me get doggy treats. Oh.